from the Sand City Sports to the business. Folks, I've made it clear that we're going to have a college football season. And the reason being is because we are going to have an NFL football season. And the prime example of why this is going to take place is because the New England Patriots, who lead the league in opt-outs, are already being the New England Patriots and replenishing their roster. That's right, cornerback Michael Jackson, interesting name, traded from the Detroit Lions, and running back Lamar Miller brought in to give Sony Michelle extra time to heal up. That's right, folks are walking out the door on the Patriots' way, and new people are walking right back in that door before they even get to the parking lot. And so there's gonna be changes, and then there's gonna be more changes, and then there's gonna be more changes after that. But the Patriots, for one, and the NFL in general, will be forging ahead in 2020 with a complete season. We've talked about the economics in college football. Now take that and multiply it by at least two, three, or maybe four. The numbers are just too big, and there's too many people that just want in from coaches to players to owners, and please don't forget about all us fans out there. So yes, for my money, those couple of chips at the table, not only will the NFL rumble to a successful 2020 season, but they'll pave the way for college football to do exactly the same thing. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time, folks.